Good morning and welcome. It is Friday the 20th of May. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, we've got a normal steak day, £20, but it is very, very thin on the ground for value today for me. Um, so the way that I look at value, um, it, it's it's very thin. So uh, I've concentrated a lot of energy on the two big handicaps at the cover. Um and I've got bits and bobs elsewhere, but it is coming out as four bets, £20. So we'll get to that. We'll do our review of yesterday, and we will have a word on the golf. So yesterday, um, not good, really. Um, so it was 15 on, 450 back is what I got back. Um, you'd only have got money back, though, if you used Skybet yesterday. It was one of them kind of days, but it wasn't, it wasn't big money anyone's missed out on. So the first bet... Uh, in essence, they weren't they weren't that good. Steel River wasn't too far away, um, but Freedom Flyer was fourth. So the horse of the day was fourth. Ran it ran credible. Went off at ten to one in the end. Hopefully, most of you got a better price if you want it with Sky Bet. We did have a single on it and in, in a little bit in the lucky fifteen. Mine was subject uh, to a fifteen p rule four deduction. Um, so didn't quite get those prices. So a little bit back there. And then in bet two, it was a similar story in that one horse, bottom one, placed fourth, uh, which was good enough for Sky Bet. It was SP at 15 to 2. My 17 to 2 was subject to a 20p rule for deduction. Um, so what that meant was a £4.50 total back from £15. So not very good yesterday. Um, we slightly ahead for the week, uh, but it's all very, it's very, very marginal at the moment. Um, that's where we're at. So today's bets. Um, okay, starting up with our first of the two lucky 15s. Very, very low on value. Um, and I guess I just want to flag, just because these are short prices doesn't mean it looks like, oh, well, we're going to have a lot more winners because the prices are shorter. Um, as we're, I've, we've talked about here before, it doesn't actually make much difference with my strike rate, the prices of the horses. So the bigger the price doesn't necessarily always mean they've got less chance of winning. Uh, on this channel per se um so i'll talk you for this one there's no extra place in this one other than there is a I think sky bit i've got a fourth place on that one but hoping we don't need it so this is should be good for any bookmaker um it's a 245 my number one horse is non-runner in that one so I, I literally only just looked before i did the video and it's gone non-runner so i've gone for for the backup horse in that race dutch decoy 11 to 1 then we've got the 330 Bath, Symbol of Hope. It's very short, six runners, 100 to 30, Symbol of Hope. And then 520 Catterick, County Charm, 15 to 2. And finishing off the 843 Catterick, um, that's paying two places, Mr. Trevor, 6 to 1. So I've done it. It's just viable for me to be a lucky 15. So 15p each way, lucky 15, with a 25p each way, fourfold on the lot. Um that is bet one, but very it's a, it's a very, very weak value day. Um, so it is what it is. Here's the main bet in terms of stake. So here's our Curra Lucky 15. So we've got 455 Velna, threes. I've got a shorty in there to start us off. Um, six o'clock uh, in, we're going Sultan Stall, 33s. Um, 710 Imposing Supreme, 14s. And then the 815, I know I'm not going to be able to pronounce it properly. Uh, Shinak Isle, maybe, possibly. I'll feel free to give me some abuse in the comments. <laughs> um, 10 to 1. So I've done it as a 20p each way, lucky 15. And I've got a single on Salt and Stall because it's the best price I've got today. Um, best value horse, 25p each way, single on Salt and Stall. But both those two handicaps, massive fields in there. So, you know, you, you can't talk with any real confidence um, uh, in terms of getting a horse over the line with those. So... That is the main bet. Then I've done a, a kind of like a cross, a cross doubles bet between those two. I've got three in each. So we've got, uh, so it's nine cross, 25p each way doubles. So if you put them all in the bet slip um, online, you can literally just put the put the six in. If you were um, writing out a betting slip, you could write it like that. So uh, six o'clock, we've got Star Harbour, Casanova and Sultan Stall. And in the 710, we're going Godhead, Ice Cold in Alex, and Imposing Supreme. Nine cross, 25p each way doubles. It's a 450 bet. That's bet three. And then to finish us off, this didn't even make it to a lucky 15, so I've trimmed it down. And I'm taking SPs. I don't do it often on the channel. Um, 
I'm just going to hope some of those drift a little bit because I can't think many of them are going to go in much more than they are. So uh, three at Downpatrick here and one at Worcester. So at 5.35 Downpatrick, Will You Walk With Me? 6.10 Downpatrick, Lily Lightfoot. 7.20 Downpatrick, School Lane. 8.03 Worcester Caspers Court. So I've done it as six cross 20p win doubles. So no singles, but win doubles. Four cross 25p each way trebles. And then the main bit of the stake, the 40p each way fourfold um, on there. So they're, they're all single figures and I don't think any of them will get to double figures at all. I'm just hoping we might get lucky and you know, get a little bit better prices than what we've got now. Um, but I can't think it's going to be massively different. So I'll, I'll take the SPs on those because they are all extra place races. Most bookies will pay extra places on there. So have a look around. Um, they're quite big fields, although the Worcester ones come in quite a bit. There's quite a few non-runners in there. That is bet four. So, yeah, I'm light on value. Uh, so outside of those... Uh, Curra handicaps. I got one horse in double figures today, whereas yesterday I think all bar one were double figures, and it just goes like that sometimes. Um, it's it's not a day to to do a lot. Um, probably outside those Curra races, I'm not going to be having any other bets on anything today. Uh, I'll be saving myself for tomorrow. So that I've done the channel selections for for, for that. Um, but yeah, outside of that, for me, it'll probably just be the Curra handicaps. But we will see how we get on tomorrow. All right, golf. Um, Mixed, really. Um, mixed with, uh, I'm just trying to find it on here, uh, Davis Riley. I think he's our, our main man right now. So him and he's two under, Taylor Gooch one under. They're the best of our singles. And the rest of it doesn't look great. No one's massively out of it. Uh, Billy Horshaw's got the most work to do. As far as the lucky 15 goes, um, you look at the leaderboard and you go, it doesn't look very good. But actually, none of them are too far away. So Schwartz was in the mix for, for top South African. Alex Checker had a terrible start, then had a brilliant little middle bit and then finished badly. But he's actually only two shots away from, from being placed as top continent European. So he's he's got it to do. Uh, and Lahiri's only two shots away from the, from the top Asian uh, placings. So the main objective here is trying for the lucky 15 particularly is can we get all four making the cut because that was the thing I was most worried about particularly today and not to, well, today particularly for this tournament because um, it's such a competitive tournament I've gone some bigger prices so just making the cut today for all four would be a, a, a little win it doesn't get us any money but it means we're in the game for the weekend um, particularly if Alex Checker can make the cut today we can get a little bit excited because it's a decent decent price all right, that's it. I'm just going to leave it there. It's going to be nice and, nice and quick today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with whatever we've got. And to be honest, I, I haven't actually looked tomorrow. Um, uh, there's, there, uh, there's not there's nothing that's springing in my mind that is a particularly good betting race tomorrow, but I haven't actually looked that far ahead to see, see what else there is. So I'll leave it there, and I'll see you in the morning with whatever I find uh, then when I get there. Thanks very much. Cheerio.